Hey guys, Mikey here again today. I'm going to be bringing you another tutorial video on how to play the Barbarian on Diablo 3, Inferno 10. I hope you enjoy. Hey guys, here we are again today. I'm going to be talking about the Barbarian, what skills I like to use, and the passives. Um, as always, I like to try to go over every important topic without taking too long or making it dull or boring for you guys that are watching, so let's get right into it. On my left click, I like to use Rend with Ravage. Uh, you could easily switch this out for the Bloodlust, which gives you the more life steal and survivability if you're having issues with that. However, I like to use the Ravage. It's a great skill. It's really good for the extra range and AoE, and it helps you clear faster and uh, <clears throat> in turn acts as a, you know, a survivability skill because you're doing all the AoE damage. On my right click, I like to use Whirlwind with Hurricane. It's a great skill. You get to move at your movement speed while Whirlwinding. It just helps you uh, keep going on your farm and you don't slow down, so this is an awesome skill. I recommend using this run as well. On my one key, I like to use Sprint with Run Like the Wind. Uh, the tornadoes that it generates basically act as a form of survivability as well, and they also help you kite enemies to keep chasing you and doing a little extra damage. Uh, it also applies a chance to crit with the tornadoes, which can give you more fury uh, from this skill. We'll be talking about that here in a little bit. On my two key, I like to use Overpower with Killing Spree. This is a great skill with this build. It gives you more crit chance. It also gives you AoE damage. It's a wonderful skill to have, so I recommend using this. It'll become spammable. I'll show you that here in a little bit. On my three key, I like to use Battle Rage with Into the Fray. This right here is a must. It's pretty much going to be the bread and butter of this build. Into the Fray, while under the effects of Battle Rage, critical hits have a chance to generate an additional 15 Fury. Um, it's amazing. You're going to stack that with uh, a skill here next that I'm going to show you. This right here, Wrath of the Berserker with Thrive on Chaos. Uh, this is the skill that you're going to be using with that. Now, when you, if you read Thrive on Chaos, every 25 Fury gained while Wrath of the Berserker is active adds one second to the duration of the effect. <clears throat> so the way that's going to work is your tornadoes are going to be critting, your, you know, your whirlwind's going to be critting, everything that you're throwing has a chance to crit, and it's going to be generating spam. You know, you're going to be doing so much AOE damage that that chance to generate 15 additional fury pretty much becomes guaranteed, and you're going to be an in infinite rest. You're never going to run out of it if you do it right. It's really awesome. For my passives, I like to use Ruthless. It gives you a little more damage. It's a nice passive to have. I like to use Weapon Master as well. It's a little more damage. Good to have. And I like to use a Bloodthirst as well. And this one just helps with survivability. The 3% life still is really nice. If you're a lot better geared and you're not having survivability issues, you can easily use, uh, I've seen Barbarians use Superstition. I've seen Barbarians use Brawler. And you can even use them now if you wanted to with this gear and this build. Um, I could if I wanted to. This is just what I like to do. I will say that uh, the Barbarian, this build, is really effective for AoE farming a lot of trash. You, if you want to level quick, uh, find Legendaries quick, this is a build to use. I would say the Barbarian is the best in the game right now at that with this build. However, uh, if you're wanting to farm and kill Elite Packs, I wouldn't recommend doing this build. It is possible to do this build, and I'll show you if that's what you want to do. Uh, but this build primarily focuses on trying to kill trash as quickly as possible and get experience as quickly as possible. So you kind of waste time on elites if you sit around and wait for them and try to kill them. But there is a way to kill them uh, to and continue farming as well, and I'll show you that here in a sec. Let's go over some of my gear. Again, I'll just kind of mouse over it, give you guys an idea of what I'm using. Uh, again, my Barbarian is not super geared. He's not amazing on his gear, but uh, he is effective with this build. And he's got pretty decent gear. It's not bad. Life still there on that score in the 4.6% as well, the passive. That's really nice. Almost 247k on buffs, and I'm not max Paragon, so that has room for improvement in gear as well. It could be improved. Critical hit chance is 63%. Critical hit damage, 523. Going to be the same kind of thing here. You're going to want to look for high crit chance, high crit damage, uh, high vitality if you can get it. Strength is his main stat, so almost 50k life. Uh, the all resist is a little forgiving in the Barbarian for the simple fact that uh, the strength that he gets gives him a lot of damage reduction, so you don't have to have really, really high all resist. Probably around 500-ish, I would say, is probably good enough. All right, so let's get right into it, and I'm going to talk about how this works. So before I go out there and start hitting anything, it's, I'm going to take the time to explain it just real quick. You want to go out there and you want to hold your shift and start left and hold your left click. And the reason that is is you're going to get a little bit of fury and uh, sorry, you're going to get a little fury and you're going to be able to use that rend and that rend will help you survive while trying to generate fury. Often when people try this build, they run out there and they try to start just clicking whatever and they die and they don't understand how to get the fury and life going. So I'm going to show you right here. See that rend go off? Okay, now what you want to do is once you start getting some fury, you want to whirlwind and then just go ahead and wrath. 
and then you just want to go ahead and start spamming your 1, 2, and 3 key for the most part. As long as you have things to hit, you can pretty much keep spamming those keys. And you're just going to be generating a lot of fury. It's amazing. And, you know, obviously, uh, here I could be grouping up, grouping up much bigger groups. I'm just giving you guys an idea of how this build works. Here's a pack right here. So maybe I can show you how to kill packs here. Alright, so if you do find any late pack, the thing that you want to try to do and keep in mind is that you want to keep farming. You want to keep killing. So if it's a pack that is pretty quick and is able to follow you, you can easily, you know, pull groups and kite this pack to follow you around if you'd like. You know, you can stop and kill it if you want, but you don't have to do that. But I'll show you here what I'm talking about. Gotta watch out for those molten stacks on the ground. But as you can see, this build is not amazing for fighting packs. But it is possible if that's what you want to do. You can easily fight packs. If that's, you know, what you want to do, that's up to you. There you go. Me personally, I tend to like to uh, stick to the packs that are more mobile and follow you around. And if they are, it's fine if you want to keep running along and kiting them and killing them as you go, as you're killing big groups, that's fine. Works great with this build. Yeah, these groups are kind of small, not really worth stopping for. Uh, Barbarian is also really good for narrow paths. Uh, places like the Eastern Channel, the Waterlog Passage, things like that is the uh, quest I believe you want to do. And uh, basically it'll save your game right out there, uh, so where you can keep running the Eastern Channel. It's a really good area because uh, there's a lot of narrow corridors, and narrow corridors provide the Barbarian with the ability to just whirl and down through those and continuously just keep killing everything and farming. Um, it works really well. One thing to note, uh, the Wrath of the Berserker, something that it does not tell you on the Wrath is it basically makes you immune to CC. Uh, this being one of the main reasons why Barbarian is so powerful. He can just uh, avoid any freeze, any snare, anything like that. And no other class in the game can continuously do that uh, as of right now. So the Barbarian is kind of overpowered in that aspect, I, sh I guess you could say. Uh, Barbarian is easily, like I said uh, before, he's easily one of the best at this kind of farming. There you go, Hex kind of following me there. Um, as legendaries go, you can stop and single-handedly pick them up if you want. You know, or you could just continue farming and pick them all up when you're done. Either way, um, you know, either way can work. I've seen some barbarians that do it that way. That like to do it that way. But I mean, as you can see, this build is just, it's silly. This is a good area to farm right here. Um, one thing to note, try to leave some mobs outside for when you come back out to keep generating fury and keep your wrath going. Uh, but this area right here is really good for uh, barbarian farming. These uh, undead mothers tend to spit up a lot of mobs. One thing to note when you're farming like this is try your best to always make forward progress. And what I mean by that is, let's say I'm running through here like this. Oh, my wrath ended. I wasn't paying attention. But that's right. <laughs> this with this build, your, your wrath is pretty much constant because once it's down, it's already up from going on. Uh, so what I what I mean by that is making forward progress is try to always move into a direction that um, basically if you're farming in a direction and you're trying to keep your wrath going and everything try to kill everything towards the dead end of that path first and then move your way back and hopefully this is a dead end so I can show you what I'm talking about Here's another pack. which it doesn't look like it is alright that is a dead end okay so let's mm, this may not be a good example I'm trying to use this as an example um, that ain't gonna work not enough mobs Need a big group. There we go. Get that fury back up and that wrath back up. Anyway, you can see this elite pack right here is actually quick enough to kite around. So uh, what you want to do is you want to kind of throw a rand every once in a while and then kind of move. You got to be careful with your rand. If you use rand too much, you can actually deplete your uh, enemies that you need to keep your fury going. So you kind of want to use it in beneficial situations. Okay, so like, let's say this, for example, is a dead end. What you want to do is try to kill everything closest to the dead end first. 
and I'll show you why you want to do that. Okay, now that everything's pretty much dead here, you want to kind of backtrack, and if you leave enemies while you're backtracking, this allows you to have something to keep your uh, fury going and keep your wrath up. And then see, I'll come back and I'll kill this little group here. And as I'm doing this, if you if you can see, this elite pack just keeps following me, and I'm slowly killing them as I'm continuing to farm. see there that I ended up killing that elite pack while continuing to farm I really didn't stop or slow down for him it is kind of good to go ahead uh, just to go ahead you know and see where enemies are at and to uh, if you can see the undead mothers try to hit them but don't kill them just hit them to trigger them and then when you come back to them later there will be a lot more mobs spawned because they like to spit up here you go, level 2. I know I didn't let finish level 1, but in all reality, uh, to backtrack is actually a waste of experience and time. So you're better off just going ahead and, uh, you know, moving forward constantly. Okay, there's a stone there, so you definitely want to leave mobs there. You don't want to kill them while they're at the stone. Kill anything else that you can in the area. More fury. But you, basically you can see, I hope you guys can see and uh, understand that I'm leaving mobs back, you know, at the most important locations. Like, obviously I'm going to have to backtrack to the portal to get out, so I purposely left a mob there. Yeah, I know there's an event, uh, there's an ev event in here, but uh, to stop and actually do the event usually is not worth it. Might as well go ahead and kill these guys just for the simple fact that... You know, I'm right here anyway. That's probably good enough. Okay. Now we'll move over here. And you should have a bunch of guys left here to build that fury. Okay, and if you can, go ahead and... Oh, got a listener. Don't want to pass that up, do we? If you can, go ahead and pour it out. Ain't gonna let me. Gotta kind of hurry, because you want to keep your fury going. Alright, now see, when I come out of here, I'm gonna have those mobs that I left for me earlier to kind of generate my fury back up. There's that elite pack. Kind of need to find something quick. Ah, drop my fear. Uh, that's kind of the downside sometimes is, you know, you got to be quick. And if, sometimes you can lose your fury, but it's not game over when that happens, so don't worry. You basically can farm the same. It's just Wrath provides you with all that extra crit and uh, extra survivability and immune to CC. So if you do happen to drop your Wrath and you don't want to kind of go all out and kind of want to wait for it, that's fine. Because CC can kill you if you don't have it. But that is pretty much the basics of it. Um, like I said, always, guys, I, I, I really appreciate you guys watching. I hope you guys enjoy. Uh, I do like to game, like I said before. And not only that, but I really do like to help people out. Um, I feel like in the gaming community, there's often a lot of a lot of trash talk and a lot of negative people. And I, I'm aware that, you know, that's never going to change. And there's a lot of people that, you know, they have the superiority complex. Uh, they believe they're better regardless of who you are. They just think they're better. And that's human nature. It's human flaw. Uh, not that it really, you know, entirely go, you know, matters. But anyway, uh, I just would like to point out the fact that I do like to help people, and I, I really hope you guys enjoy. Um, if you guys have any questions or comments or anything like that at all, if you'd like to send me a message and ask me anything, that's fine. I do plan on doing another one of these videos. I have the wizard left, I believe, and I believe I want to bring uh, more games to this channel as well. Anyway, guys, uh, thanks for bearing with me. Hopefully these videos aren't too boring for you. I know this one may have been a little more talking and longer and whatnot, but uh, 
Anyway, thank you so much for watching, and have a good day.